So uh, good afternoon, Mr. Alex Zong, and thank you for having you here, sir. Sir, for the past uh, four days, uh, I've been following your activity uh, all the time, you know, since early in the morning. And I can see that, you know, everything for me seems to go very smoothly since uh, the very early hours to the very end. So, sir, uh, based on my observation, uh, maybe maybe I don't see it all the way. But for you, sir, I mean, is there any challenges that you, you see so far? Any problems so far? Uh, yes, oh, as okay. you can see. No, no, it's okay. Yes, uh, uh, don't catch, you know. This is uh, this is my phone. This is the base of the problems that happen, you know. I'm working on uh, the event uh, business mm. and uh, event is a special business because uh, everything can happen. You're never sure of uh, about what will happen bad uh, uh, for the event, but you can be sure about one thing that this it will happen, happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, you know it's like a fight or mm -hmm. like a show you know when uh, you uh, are in the audience everything goes smoothly but behind it's like the war <laughs> you mm -hmm. know so yeah. we have to react against everything can uh, uh, make you trouble with the the, uh, the the event you know it can be a buffalo uh, oh. can be a, a dog uh, can be an accident can be a uh, people who are sick, uh, you know, or don't wake up, a driver that won't wake up. So if I've got a, a bus uh, mm. uh, that lags, uh, it's a problem. So everything is a problem. But for now, you know, I think uh, that we are lucky and everything uh, is okay. Yes, sir. But can you give my, uh, us like, a, you know, a very quick summary of the four days? Sir? Like, uh, is there anything that you want to wrap up, you know, from, from the very first uh, sport? Um, day one uh, was uh, pretty okay, uh, you know, uh, it was the, the discovery for most of the part of the participants. Mm -hmm. They discovered the temples area really early, you know, at the first light in the morning. And uh, wow, it was uh, wonderful for them because I wanted this uh, first contact with the uh, temple for the first day. Yes, sir. So it was a success uh, for that. And uh, the warm uh, welcome of the Cambodian people also, you know, uh, they really appreciate it. Uh, Second they, day, the canoe, yeah, also good. <laughs> yeah, this yep. is the ADN of Cambodia, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, you are so warmly welcome, you know, that uh, we really uh, enjoy it, you know. Because in Europe, it's not about the same. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, so, uh, day two was just wonderful, you know, because uh, Kampong Kleong, uh, looks like uh, you think you are in a movie, you know, mm. it's just amazing. Yes, uh, this, uh, all these views, you know, and the, the, we were at the sunrise, so it was really beautiful. Some of them, they spend the night uh, in the village. Yes, sir. Uh, so they really enjoyed, oh. they were really impressed. And yesterday, um, the, the sport event was a run and bike. So they had, the, the speed is low. So they, they had time, you know, to uh, have contact with the population. Yesterday was Sunday, yes, so sir. people didn't work. Yeah, especially so young they, people, yeah. they don't study, they just come and, and laugh. And exactly, see. Yeah, and because yeah. of you, like the me local media, you yes, know, yes. people know about it. And uh, mm. they come to have a look at it, you know, and they really enjoy to see uh, all those women coming from so far away just to enjoy the country and uh, making sport through, of the, through the, the daily life of, of the people, finally, you know. And that's uh, a special contact that um, uh, the, the participants and also I think the Cambodian people really uh, like it. Yes, sir. But, sir, I just want to focus on the fourth day, which is today. Uh, normally, yes, among all the sports, I think this one for me is very interesting and I, I hope that it, it can be very interesting for, you know, the, the majority of the Cambodian people too. Uh, the fact that, you know, you allow people to go through the temple, mm. you know, they, they, they try to observe like small settlements, small, uh, you know, uh, sculpture, some of them I don't even know. <laughs> and, you know, I, another thing that I, I don't really understand is that... Um, they smell the spices, yeah. you know, and then they try to rename the spice. Uh -huh. So, uh, I mean, to me, I, I also look at the, the question a bit. It's very hard, even yeah. though for, for me, you know, who come to Simbri <laughs> very regularly. So uh, why, why this, uh, you know, kind of activity happens? Uh, like, and and how, you do, how do you design it? Because for me, it seems a bit difficult, but to be honest. This event for the Amazon is not about sport. Sport is just a mean to discover about themselves. I'm talking about the participants, you know. Uh, and uh, traveling, we are far away from home. 
mm. uh, is also a way to discover other people. It's exotic, let's say. I mean, yes, really different of our culture, our uh, way of life. So uh, this is really interesting to be interested uh, deeply and uh, about what happened in the country where they are. So this is, and they know this special day the, that we call the treasure hunt. Mm. Uh, they know about it. They know that it will happen on day four. So before coming, they read a lot about guides just to learn about Cambodia. But, but do you offer them information in advance? Or no. Beca because when I look at the paper that they hold, you know, they have different books, they have yeah. different papers, so, uh -huh. so they, they learn it by themselves. I the, mean, no, yeah. no one tell them, no. No, 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 they have oh, to okay. learn about and uh, wait, waiting for the questions, you know, and to observe also. So uh, uh, it's interesting uh, to uh, give them uh, the feeling uh, to discover a country before going to the country they know they learn about they know things we, uh, before uh, being in the country that's a special feeling you know because when you arrive and then after uh, you leave uh, what you learned uh, in a book uh, this is a special moment and that's what happened today yes sir but one more thing that i observe uh, normally you you do in vietnam you do in malaysia some yeah. you know some tropical uh, countries uh, yes uh, in in south america in africa And all of them, they, they seem to be tropical terrain. Yeah. So is it like the, the terrain that you prefer, tropical? <laughs> is it like a, a coincidental or it's like no. on purpose? Uh, good question, because yeah. uh, usually Red Amazon is um, scheduled at the end of the year. Because oh. in uh, France and in Europe, you know, it's winter. So, so you don't like winter? Uh, it's freezing. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes freezing, you okay. know, okay. snow, uh, cold. Uh, no, nobody like it. So what I offer uh, to the participant is the possibility uh, to be in the sunshine, warm and uh, warm temperature, you know, and, uh, mm. and to flee uh, away from uh, winter. Uh, and this is also exotic, you know. That, I mean, uh, you, uh, when they left uh, Paris, let's say, it was eight degrees. Eight. Eight they degrees Celsius. Here. Yeah, Celsius. Yep. Uh, when they arrived here uh, in the afternoon, it was 38. 30 degrees Celsius more. So they, they like the temperature here uh, Yeah, normally. it's a bit yeah. too much, you know, <laughs> but, but it's yeah. part of the, of the trip, you know. I see. And there, there is six hours uh, more here uh, than in France. At this time, it's mm. six hours less in France. So uh, everything is so different, you know. Uh, they, they, they dive deeply. Uh, in this event, uh, geographically and also about the temperature, the weather, and everything is different. Yes, sir. Uh, one more thing, sir. Uh, because uh, this morning I asked one of the participants, you know, like uh, the purpose why she is here, and also, uh, you know, the fact, you know, that I I notice, you know, normally uh, European people they want to come to visit the countryside, you know, to see the cow, the buffalo, the the palm tree, and you know. In contrary, you know, people from Southeast Asia or maybe, you know, at least uh, Asia, they want to see skyscrapers, you know, it's like an exact yeah. opposite. So, I mean, why do, you, why do you want to see, you know, rice paddies? Like, what is the... Uh, she said that she wants some peace, you know, like a bit the hustling life in France. So, yeah. is it something that, the, you know, the, the participants want to experience in, in, in Asia? Uh, you know, we love Asia. It's a special... Uh, it's the... the The, the, the part of the world that the European prefer mm. uh, for traveling, you know. But because of the nature and it's the culture. Because yeah. of the nature, the culture, the Buddhism also. It's well, quite, Buddhism. Yeah, okay. it's quite a religion, you know. Uh, we have many, many problems with the religion in, uh, in okay. Europe, you know. Yeah. Uh, but here it's cool, you know. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, what we are, uh, through this event, what I, I, I search for is authenticity. In terms of what, so for example? Daily life, you know, they, uh, European people, they always complain about everything, you know, I'm fed up with that, you know, I can't hear. Because I travel a lot and I know that uh, we are in a part of the world uh, that everything is okay, you know, mm -hmm. but people always complain. So it's okay for them to come here and to see that finally they don't have to complain, you know, and when they're ah, back home, you know, so it's okay. So they can start you know, they feel, again, They yeah. feel much better, you know, and they begin to think and to talk 
with the children, with the family, and to, to, to talk and to say, uh, stop complaining, you know. Mm. Everything is okay, finally. So, okay, we are okay. And, and uh, yes, it's something way in the world, in Asia, most of the time, um, people are happy with the main things and we don't need more. So this is uh, also one thing that they can learn uh, by particip participating to this uh, event. Yes, sir, but uh, another question, for example, um, so normally because, uh, you know, when, when I see they could do, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, it's not like a very synchronous, you know, sometimes they also make, you know, small, uh, you know, like a mistake, you know, going around a bit. <laughs> it's ah, okay. yeah, because yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, sure. So sure. basically the sport and, you know, the intensity of the sport that you do, so how do you think, you know, it is suitable for them, you know, as a non-sport person, let's say? I don't know because I don't know them before oh. they arrive. Um, so it's like an experiment also? Yeah, I try to uh, decide on a sport level, you know, mm. uh, that uh, can be okay for all of them. And, uh, and I've got a good, uh, <laughs> a very good uh, medical team oh, in case, okay, okay. Uh, in, just in case. And yes. we had uh, uh, already some uh, that, you know, it was difficult for them about the, the hot temperature because they don't have the habit to drink uh, at the same time that they run. Mm. Uh, so they fall down and uh, we have... Uh, you have to rescue them yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And just uh, my last question to you also, and, uh, it, you know, like you said, what seems to be above the stage is not what is beneath the stage. So I want to focus a bit on you know your, your logistical capacity. You know, you say that you you brought five containers yeah. here, and then you know when I, when I actually see it, you know I see like okay there are teams carrying the canoe, there are teams carrying the bike, there are teams at four a.m. at the spot preparing. Two, yeah, two two forty five tomorrow. Two forty five a.m. tomorrow, sir, tomorrow, yeah. at at Chao Sai Vibol Temple. Yeah. Uh, no, oh. uh, this is the finish line. Oh, it's oh. a farther, it's uh, f uh, 54 kilometers f from yes, here. Yeah. So, so just uh, like a bit of your explanation, so like how big is your logistic team? Like, and, and how do you coordinate them? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, for me, it's a very like, complex uh, web. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe the word that uh, resume uh, the answer is uh, miracle. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do what we can and, uh, to anticipate all the problems, but you know, uh, the theory is never, never uh, synchronized with reality. Mm. So, um, logistics is an adventure. You, okay. you try okay. to uh, anticipate, you try to get what you want, but it never happened the way that you, uh, you, you would like it. But you, you find it a very, uh, you know, uh, like entertaining also. It's not a problem, but it's more like an entertainment. You know, it, yeah. it's a challenging, it's a good challenge. Yeah, yeah, it's a challenge. Sometimes I would like it, it wouldn't be a challenge, you know, at all. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, um, for here in Cambodia, uh, it was really cool because uh, we had the uh, very uh, precious help from uh, Ministry of Culture, mm. uh, from uh, NOCC, uh, from APSARA also, and the uh, Ministry of Tourism. So, uh, okay, all those uh, helps were really precious to uh, make it happen. Yes, sir. And in December, you said that you will plan to do again in Cambodia. End of November. End of November. Finally. Oh, yeah, finally. No, no, it, okay. I was. It was not decided yet, but oh. I think it will be end of November. End of November, yes, yeah. sir. So uh, will there be different places for the competition? Maybe, yes, because oh. as you know, <laughs> the, the rain season uh, happened. Yes. And uh, there is, I think that there is one or maybe two uh, sport event sites that we use uh, for this edition that mm. won't be uh, usable uh, uh, in uh, end in. of November. Oh. So I will have to come back with... Uh, uh, my short team uh, on wiki trip to decide on a, a new uh, sport event sites. I see, sir. Uh, again, just a you know, just small few question. Uh, for example, I, I heard you know some comment in in Khmer like you know, uh, you know Cambodian people also want to join sometime because they see it very interesting. So. Uh, can they join maybe in the future we policy? Have a, we have already two Cambodian teams, but they are from uh, you know France. from Phnom yeah. Penh. Oh, okay. Yeah. They okay. are the four of us. Uh, it's yeah. two team of two. They are. Mm. Uh, they come from Phnom Penh, and okay. uh, I send an invitation also to um, the governor to uh, engage a team 
but oh. I think they uh, they didn't uh, found it was too short time to find participants. So mm. I hope that for the next edition there will be more Cambodian uh, Cambodian teams. participants, so yeah. they, they can uh, you know join of normally. Course. Normally, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. they are most welcome. Yep, yep. Everywhere we go, it's the same. I I am really happy. We all are really happy when uh, we have local teams. Okay, sir. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Alexander, for your interview, You're sir. Most and, welcome. Uh, we will have another two days to cover, which thank is. You. Uh, we hope that we are not going to be too tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. thank you, sir. Thank Please you. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you, sir.